Welcome to the another program called Forum for Bit. Today we are going to discuss a new course called Information Systems and Technology, coded IT1103. This is a kind of this is a new course which we introduced for the uh, semester one BIT program. Uh, if you have look at the other courses which we have introduced for the semester one. Uh, this is a new one compared to the previous syllabus. There are some reasons why we introduce a new course. When we analyzed the previous uh, syllabus structure, we understood that uh, uh, there are no enough subjects in the semester one to improve the student's understanding and awareness of ICT. And uh, this new course, we hope that uh, will fill that particular gap at the same time. Uh, this is kind of a, a, a foundation course for the students. The reason which I say it's a foundation course is it will provide, uh, it will improve the students' background knowledge to learn other courses, other subjects in the BIT program more easily. Uh, we will go into the details of these courses. And uh, first, let me introduce uh, Dr. Yamaya Ekanayaka, who is the course coordinator of this particular subject. Uh, Dr. Yamaya, could you please tell us what are the main learning outcomes a student will achieve after following this particular course? Yes, there are three main um, learning outcomes we have outlined. Firstly, we would want the students to understand what the components of computer-based information systems are and their functions. Secondly, we want to give them the knowledge of understanding what different types of computer-based information systems are used in organizations. Then finally, we would want them to learn the ability to understand what an IS development process is and also the ethical and security issues associated with use of information systems. I see. So, uh, to achieve these learning outcomes, uh, we have a kind of a roadmap, what we call a syllabus. Uh, Dr. Yamaya, uh, could you please tell us the outline of the, the syllabus? Yes, um, the duration of uh, this um, syllabus is 60 hours and we have nine main topics. The first topic is introduction to information systems, which is six hours. And second, information systems in organizations and competing with IT, which is four hours. Then, fundamentals of information technology, six hours. Organizing data and information, six hours. Fundamentals of communications and networks, five hours. Different types of business information systems, which is eight hours. And system investigation and analysis, seven hours, systems design, implementation, maintenance and review which is eight hours and finally the security, privacy, ethical issues and national development with respect to information systems which is an eight hour course. Well, uh, there are very interesting eight topics, uh, nine topics in this syllabus and uh, the, uh, uh, we also see the time distribution with respect to the, these uh, topics and I hope the students will use this as an, uh, uh, the useful index to decide the time allocation when they are following the course. And I prefer if we can go a little bit into details uh, with respect to these topics uh, uh, explaining the kind of a thing that they have to achieve in this program. Yes, uh, firstly we will uh, look at the first lesson which mm. is the first lesson or the topic which is the introduction to information systems. As I mentioned before it's a mm -hmm. six hour uh, topic and basically what we want the students is to identify and describe the components of a computer based information systems. Here we also have mentioned uh, different basic types of information systems as well as the learning outcome would be to identify the role of information systems in business. Let's look at the second topic, yes. which is information systems in organizations and competing with information technology. Basically, this topic has 
two main elements. Firstly, we would like the students to gain an understanding of what an organization is. Here we discuss about organizational structure and culture as well as the value chain concept. Secondly, we would want the students to learn how organizations are using information technology to gain competitive advantage. The third topic or the lesson is the fundamentals of information technology. Here we briefly um, described uh, different types of hardware as well as software used in organizations. Here mainly we stress, stress the importance of the value of these hardware and software to business. Yes, uh, I understand this third topic uh, has some relation to the other uh, courses in this uh, semester one program. And uh, because uh, uh, in this particular section, in this course, the students will learn about the the more details but the practical components they will learn they will do those practical things in the other courses in this this semester that's right for example they will learn about different um, hardware which will be covered in the uh, computer science course as well as they will learn computer about systems course that's yeah, right yes. computer systems course in the first semester mm -hmm. then secondly about the um, software also which mm -hmm. will be the practical knowledge okay. they will get in the PC applications course. Yeah. So we call it this time application packages. So there are the students will learn about this MS Word, Access and those kind of a tools, how those tools can use to do a uh, basic, uh, the basic office activities and how you, the computer can use to do different tasks. That's right. Yes. Let's go to then the next topics. Yeah, the next topic, which is the fourth one, is organizing data and information. Now, in this um, topic, we want the students to identify general data management terms and also the advantages and disadvantages of database approach to data management. Also, here we introduce the database management systems and its different functions. Uh, furthermore, we discuss briefly current database applications such as data mining and business intelligence. The fifth topic is fundamentals of communications and networks, which is five hours. Here, we expect the students to identify what is the role of networks in organizations. As you may know, networks are very important. It facilitates lots of business activities. Furthermore, we would want them to learn about the functions and components of a telecommunication network, as well as different types of networks. And finally, the business value generated by networks such as the internet, intranet and extranet. 